What's up y'all, welcome back to my channel and today we are getting in the ring because we are going to be talking about the differences between QuickBooks Online and Fund Easy. Now doing this comparison is really important to me because I've actually used both systems. I have been in and out of them, multiple clients, and so I think I can give a pretty good uh, detailed explanation about the differences between the two and when you might want to use one or the other for your organization, and so let's get started. Started. Okay, so we're going to start with pricing because for most organizations that tends to be a touchy subject, right? Typically your board has set a specific budget for you. Um, you might be a little bit cash strapped and so you know you might be price sensitive and so it's important to know how much these things cost. Now Fund Easy is $170 per month per user. QuickBooks Online, on the other hand, if purchased through TechSoup, and if you're not new here, you've heard me mention TechSoup. If you are, a quick cliff note is that TechSoup is a nonprofit that offers different tech and software and applications to nonprofits or other nonprofits at a discount. If you purchase QuickBooks Online through TechSoup, it's $160 for that full year, and you get up to 25 users, so clear stark difference there. I should also mention that QuickBooks has levels, right, to its subscription. And because we're focusing on nonprofits here, we're going to focus on the QuickBooks Online Advanced Subscription, which is the highest. And if you purchase through that directly um, through Intuit, you're gonna be paying $100 a month for those same 25 users. So more users, a little bit cheaper per month, but if you're a nonprofit organization, which you probably are because you're watching this, it makes sense to purchase through TechSoup because you get a yearly annual subscription for 160 a month. I'm sorry, for 160 a year, a year. The second thing I wanna talk about is design. And you might be thinking, why does design matter? It does, because if you're spending a lot of time in the software, you do want something that is easy on the eye. In my opinion, Fun Easy is a bit like the Stone Age. It's clunky and you have to do a lot of feeling your way around. On the other hand, QuickBooks has a much more modern look. It's kind of what one would call sleek, right? Um, a more slim, simpler aesthetic. And so it is easy to look at. It's appealing. Um, and also it's much easier to determine where things are because they're very clearly labeled. What I found was fun easy was that I had to learn my way around, which I guess is not um, odd for a software. But if you are looking for something that is simple, something that you can onboard more quickly using, then QuickBooks might be the better option for you. The last thing I'll say about design is that with QuickBooks Online, it's a lot easier to figure out where you need to go to do certain things. There's also a lot more support, external support, right, outside of the software. And we'll get into that in the next point, but that's something that Fun Easy doesn't have. And because it is very jargon heavy as far as like how things are labeled, um, if you're not familiar with certain things, you will have to click around quite a bit and then even with clicking around there's a lot of options and so it can be overwhelming especially if you're not quite sure what it is that you're looking at or what it is that you're looking for and so what I find is that when someone is being onboarded so you got a new team member if they are not familiar with the software it does take a lot more longer or a bit longer for that person to get acclimated because more training is needed. The last point I'm going to make about the two softwares is ease of use. And this is really important because a lot of times when you find that an organization has a lot of manual processes or there are a lot of workarounds created, it's typically because they are not aware of how to maximize the software, right? They're not aware of the different features and how they can be used, you know, to do different things create different reports, right? And so what ends up happening is that you start doing all of these manual things or creating all these workarounds to get you what you need, but takes a lot more longer. And so that's one of the things that we wanna negate here. And so I think ease of use actually is really important because that speaks to how quickly someone can onboard, how um, quickly someone is able to create reports, right? If you've maximized the software, that means that you're now using it to the best of its ability. So the reporting is better, right? And so that's something that you really wanna take into account. What I find is that when software is easy to use, 
you use it more, right? So you're in it more, you're logging in, you're clicking around, you're figuring out how to make things better. You also you also tend to stay with your ear to the ground about, you know, new updates and changes and how those things can better improve, right? Your operations and your reporting capabilities. And so if things aren't easy to implement, you're more likely to just leave it and not do it versus if it was more simple, it's like, okay, we can implement that, we can do that, and you know what that means, an upgrade for your organization. One of the things that I really like about QuickBooks Online is that they listen to their users, right? And so the parent company into it, right? Um, they listen to their users, right? And so a lot of the changes that end up being implemented is based off of direct feedback from the accounting community as well as the small business community, and so it's, it's exciting, right, to know that you have a voice and that you can potentially alter, right, how something looks, where it's located, what it does, and so love that. With Fun Easy, updates are a little less likely and then there's no guarantee that the update or change that was made is going to be included in your subscription, right? And so it's a bit different. It doesn't operate like your modern tech company. Okay, now under the ease of use, we have kind of three things that I want to touch on and that is the ability to get support that's access and that's integrations and so first let's talk about the ability to get support one of the things that i love about quickbooks online is the forum so you can literally type in any question put quickbooks online at the end and there has never been a time where I've done that and I haven't gotten an answer or someone hasn't asked that question or a variation of that question. And so one, you have the forums, but then within the tool, you also have the chat feature and you have the ability to get a call. It's very easy to get support. And then also Intuit just has their own blog where there's a lot of um, you know, articles, there's even videos on how to do different things, how to link your bank account, right? How to you know do a reconciliation, where's the reconciliation module? Just different things that you might be thinking about doing for your organization, but maybe you're unsure of how to do. With Fund Easy, Getting support is not that that easy, right? <laughs> it's called Fun Easy, but getting support is not that easy. Honestly, when I type in questions and put Fun Easy on the end, like almost nothing comes up. A lot of times it does revert you right back to their main website. And in order to get support, you can call, right? But that's limited. You can also do um, a call with a consultant, like a meeting with a consultant. They do have some online trainings, but it all comes to at a cost. Right, so they have some very basic questions that you can ask over the phone and someone will help you. But what I find is that for some of those more in-depth questions where it's easy to kind of get answered with QuickBooks, Fund Easy will charge you a fee for because typically there's a whole process you have to go through with like setting up a meeting, working with a Fund Easy consultant. Um, there isn't um, this a forum or a place where you can go with like, you know, frequently asked questions. Like maybe I'm not looking to have a whole one hour session, but I just wanna know how to do said thing, right? And so um, didn't really love that. Um, it always felt like a hassle, I should say. So with QuickBooks, because I had other options other than calling, we know it's 2022, sometimes we don't like being on the phone. It never felt like a heavy lift because it's like, I could Google it, I could um, use the chat, um, there might be videos on YouTube about said thing, but with Fun Easy, it just felt like the information out there is scarce. So you have to go through them and typically there are multiple steps before you can get an answer. And so ease of use kind of felt like not so easy. Next, under the umbrella of ease of use, right? The next pillar we're talking about is access. So because QuickBooks Online is a cloud-based solution, right? I can go on my computer, open up Chrome, type in the URL, and there it is, voila, I'm at the login screen. Fun Easy is not that simple. And honestly, I'd like to really look up the, the definition of cloud-based solution because it doesn't really feel very cloud-based. <laughs> um, but with Fun Easy, you have to use a remote desktop application to then access um, the software, which is an additional step and is just typically not that easy. It makes it very difficult to toggle back and forth between the software and other tabs that you might have open. And so it feels very clunky and I'll be honest, it feels like I'm using a, a desktop solution, right? And I mean, you, you access it using remote desktop, so mm -hmm. um, you know, you can decide for yourself, but it does not feel like I have easy access to it. And so a lot of times when we were working as a team, 
I only wanted to go into the software when it was absolutely necessary, right? I was a controller and so I'm more so doing reviews, posting batches that have already been created. And so um, kind of like I mentioned earlier where I talked about aesthetics, I wanted to be in the software less because it was harder to use. There's not a day goes by that I don't log into QuickBooks. Let that be a lesson. The last thing we're gonna talk about is integrations. Now, I love this. This this might be maybe my favorite feature about QuickBooks Online, the fact that it connects to third-party apps. And also because here at Visionary Accounting Group, a big part of what we do is streamlining the financial process, right? Streamlining your financial operations. And because we operate virtually, a lot of what we do is tech-based, right? A lot of it happens using these tools. And the fact that QuickBooks has it set up that they can speak to one another, it does a lot of cutting down on what needs to take place outside of the software. FunEasy does not have that ability to connect to third-party integration. So there are there is some manipulation that does have to happen outside of the tool when you are wanting to do things that maybe they don't specifically do. Whereas with QuickBooks, there's a whole marketplace, right? And the, uh, one of the ways that they market themselves is based off of these integrations, right? You know, they're integrating with hundreds of apps, I believe, at this point. And so it is a much more modern feel, tech forward. And to be honest, that's where the world is going. And so if you've probably made it this far, you're thinking like she definitely is biased and is so much more into QuickBooks online. And yes, but that's not to say that you have to be. I just wanted to offer up a clear comparison because I've actually used both tools. And for me, one just stood out amongst the rest as being easier to use. And because it's been easier to use, our clients are, you know, month in is much easier, right? We're closing the books on time. We're delivering reports on time. We're able to create and make nicer reports, right? Thoughtful financial analysts, not be stuck with the reports that the tool comes with. And not to say that fun easy, you have to be, but a lot of times if you want to do something different than what the system outputs, it has to take place outside of the software and you have to manually do that, right? Where with QuickBooks, you don't have to do that. And so at Visionary, it is our software of choice. We do require um, clients to use QuickBooks Online. And that also is because we operate virtually and it is just much easier. And honestly, for our clients, they also find it easier. Now I know selecting a software can be a headache, but I do hope that this video served as a really good comparison, gave some additional information that you didn't know or that you might've wanted to know more about so that you can make an informed decision. And the last thing I wanna say about this is that if your team is remote, you do want to think about what solution is going to help them work better together. And in a lot of cases, there is a software that stands out above the rest. You choose, you choose. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful and I will see you guys in the next video.